Welcome to Tritech Precision Products Incorporated M5414 installation video. Remember, please have your M5414 manual handy during preliminary installations. Here are some of the basic requirements you will need to install the M5414. The machine adapter, a tool holder with a spline adapter, adapter screws, dial indicators, spindle screws, a standard Allen wrench set, an HSK wrench, a magnet base, an indical for the dial indicators, HSK hard tool holder, two zero backlash couplers that fit between the motors and drive shafts, and a half inch drill blank to fine tune the B axis. Before you begin, install the tool holder with the spline adapter. To begin the adapter installation, remove the necessary spindle bolts in preparation to bolt the adapter collar to the spindle. Before installing the adapter collar, clean the spindle surface and the face and inside of the collar with a clean rag. Install the adapter collar on the spindle. Use the longer bolts required to hold the adapter in place. Follow this procedure to check flatness of the adapter collar using an indical and a dial indicator. The goal here is to get a zero reading on the dial indicator as you turn the indical around the adapter collar. The flatness of the adapter collar should be within 5 tenths. If flatness is outside of these tolerances, you will need to place shims between the spindle and the adapter collar. In preparation to bolt the head up to the collar, you must first attach the servo motors to the motor mounting plate before mounting the motor plate to the back of the head.
slip the zero backlash couplers onto the motor shafts so they turn freely, but do not tighten yet. Now, connect the motor mounting plate with the motors attached to the motor mounting block on the back of the head, as located by these two pins. Install the four bolts that attach the motor mounting plate to the motor mounting block. This is how the head and motors should look before you mount the head up to the adapter collar on the spindle. Jog the head into position and lower the spindle column to within a few inches of the top of the head. Align the outside of the adapter collar with the outside of the head using a straight edge to line up the spline adapter before lowering it down onto the head. As you begin to lower the spline adapter towards the head, hand rotate the spline shaft by turning the spindle nose of the head to engage the spline adapter with the spline shaft of the head. Once engaged, continue lowering until there is a gap between the head and the collar adapter of 1 8 to 1 16th of an inch. Bolt the head to the adapter collar with the 4 tap 13 bolts. Some additional alignment may be needed here to get the bolts to engage. As the bolts are tightened, the gap between the head and the adapter collar will close. Once the head is mounted firmly to the collar, loosen the dovetail part of the stand. Raise the x-axis to allow the stand to drop out of the way and remove the stand from the table. To connect the motor shaft, to each axis drive shaft on the head, position the coupler so it's evenly spaced on the two shafts. Tighten down both sides of the coupler. Repeat this for the other coupler as well. This will allow you to jog the A and the B axes to indicate the head end. Jog the A axis until the F stamped on the bottom cover is facing the front of the machine. You will indicate along the spindle block for the A axis here and the B axis here. To indicate in the A axis, start at the center of the spindle block, which is our rotational pivot point, with zero. Jog the table over until the indicator reaches the back edge. Whatever reading you get, jog until the indicator is back to zero.
after indicating in the A axis, indicate in the B axis by jogging the head up and down while jogging the tilt to reach a steady indicator reading of zero on the B axis. Once the A and B axes are set, loosen the couplers and cold start the host machine. This will result in the head AB0, as indicated in earlier, and the host machine, having been cold started, being both set to AB0. This procedure is required on this machine, but may vary from machine to machine. Now that AB is set, to further fine tune the B axis, you will use a half inch drill blank and a standard HSK hard holder. Tighten the holder into the spindle and set the magnet based indicator so the indicator picks out the high point of the drill blank. Jog the drill blank up and down in the Z axis to fine tune the B in the tilt axis. Now that your A and B axes are set and your B axis is fine-tuned, you are ready to run a test program or a test part. To install the HSK tool holder, make sure the big notch is towards the hole. Place the tool holder into the spindle, put your Allen wrench through, tighten down until it's snug, and remove the Allen wrench. To remove the tool holder, reinsert the Allen wrench and loosen it. You'll feel the button push the tool holder away from the spindle. Remove the Allen wrench and the tool holder will drop right out. If the tool holder is backwards, it will not allow you to get the Allen wrench in or draw the tool holder up.